गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द डेली लिट कोड चैलेंज ऑफ वन फेबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नंबर वन थाउजेंड सेवन इज ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिविजर ऑफ स्ट्रिंग द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ इज गिविंग यू हिंट फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन टू स्ट्रिंग्स एस एन टी एंड वी से टी डिवाइड एस इफ द कॉन्केटेशन ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू एस सो वी आर गिवन स्ट्रिंग वन एंड स्ट्रिंग टू एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न लार्जेस्ट स्ट्रिंग एक्स सर्च डेट एक्स डिवाइड बोथ ए एंड बी सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द एग्जाम्पल एंड सी वॉट दे आर सिंग दे आर सिंग डेट यू आर गिवन टू स्ट्रिंग एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड सच अ स्ट्रिंग विच विल डिवाइड बोथ ऑफ दैम ओके दैट मीन्स हेयर ए बी सी विल डिवाइड ए बी सी इट सेल्फ एंड इट विल डिवाइड दिस ए बी सी इट सेल्फ यस और नो सो दीज आर डिवाइडेड इट विल टेक टू टाइम्स फॉर दिस एंड वन टाइम फॉर दिस सो आंसर इज ए बी सी In the second example, when we see, we can see A B A B, and here three times A B, A one two three, and here two times A B. So the common string which can divide both is A B, because if we connect and consider the whole A B A B string, it is not possible to divide this one. So we are considering the half of it A B, because A B will divide this string two times, and A B will this string by three times three and two. and finally when this is the condition here nothing is common so answer is blank string so if you saw the examples carefully you must have noticed something so before moving on i request you to please try this and then come back to the video i hope you tried the question so now see what we have to do we can actually do this that we are given two strings what do we notice is if string 1 plus string 2 is equal to string 2 plus string 1 in that case only we are having a possible answer else if str1 plus str2 does not equal to str2 plus str1 we are returning a blank string yes or no when lead or code doesn't have anything common it is combined lead code and when it is combined 2 plus 1 it is code lead so they are not equal that's why the answer is a blank string in the such cases but if you see these example here it is abc combined with abc abc Com string 2 is added so it becomes another abc and if you do this string 2 is abc and then combine string 1 that is abc abc so when they are common there is a possible answer so how to get that possible answer so as i told you the hint is greatest common divisor so we will check what is the greatest common divisor among these so this string length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and this string length is 3 so what is the greatest common divisor among these two it is 3 and we get that common divisor as our answer we can get the common divisor from any of these the initial substring from any of the strings is our answer and we will and its length will be of greatest common divisor same goes in this second example the greatest here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here 1 2 3 4 so what is the greatest common divisor of these two it is 2 so we have to get a substring from string 1 or either string 2 that would be our answer as simple as that this question is as simple as this we just need to get the greatest common divisor So without any further delay, let's move on to the coding part. Coding this question is pretty easy, as you have to just find the greatest common divisor or check whether string one plus string two is equal or not. So we will initialize int n one is equal to str one dot length, and int n two is equal to str two dot length, and we will check if str one plus str two is Not equal to str2 plus str1, then we will return a blank string. And if it this is not the case, we have to return the g as gcd. And for that, we will write a call str1 dot sub str. The starting length of substring to till the gcd of substring that is of s uh, n1 and n2. This line means that we have we are returning a GCD of length two from zero to two length GCD is returned out of any of the string. You can either use str one or str two. Both are correct. 
and you have to provide the length because both length lengths are divided gcd will divide both the strings so answer will not vary we just need to get the length of that gcd that is what we are doing so let's run and check whether it is working or not yeah it is running so let's submit this so yeah it is easy so it is done in constant time and space complexity if you have any other doubt do let me know in the comment section it was a very easy question please try this again if you need any help thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye